The argument from probability, also sometimes referred to as the fine-tuning argument, is a philosophical argument for God's existence. It is used by a number of both historic and contemporary theological speakers, from Frank Turek to the Craigie boy to... Kent Hovind. It would seem that such a universally referenced argument for God's existence would be extremely logically sound and irrefutable, right? WRONG! Here's a response to the argument from probability. Alright, so in order to respond to the argument from probability, we'll need to put it in standard form. Now, I wasn't able to find the argument from probability in standard form online, so at the confessed risk of strawmanning the argument, here is my proposed argument for probability. Premise 1. The emergence of life, especially sapient life, capable of comprehending its own existence, that's us, has required a number of physical constants to be fine-tuned to an incredibly specific degree. Premise 2. It is extremely unlikely that these constants would exist in the form they currently do without the influence of a god. Conclusion. It is extremely likely that god exists. Now I've seen a number of responses that contend predominantly with the first or second premises of this argument, but in this video I'd like to point out that the first and second premises aren't the hills you need to die on to refute the argument from probability. You can assume that they are true and still refute it. Drumroll gents, it's a non sequitur. Just a, just, just a total non sequitur. Let me explain. Just because it is extremely unlikely for an event to occur without the influence of some external condition does not make that said external condition likely. Here's an example of that doesn't quite make sense. When I roll this dice and it lands a 6, there was a 1 in 6 chance of that occurring. In other words, there was a 5 in 6 chance of me not landing that 6, meaning that me landing this 6 is unlikely. I could also say that it was unlikely that I would roll a 6 without the influence of the demon king Asmodeus. And that would be true. Without Asmodeus' influence, there's a 1 in 6 chance of me rolling a 6. That's unlikely. With Asmodeus' influence, assuming he cares enough for some reason to influence my dice rolls and wants me specifically to get 6s, maybe there's a... it's like the devil's number or something? Then there would be a 6 in 6 or 100% chance of me rolling a 6. It would be entirely truthful to state that it is unlikely I would roll a 6 without Asmodeus' assistance, or Buddha's assistance, or a magic pixie, or without rigging the dice, or without a secret dice motion internal controller designed by Mark Robert that subtly influences the dice's center of gravity, making it land on exactly 6 every time. It would not be truthful to say that that makes any of these explanations likely. By the same token, while God may offer an explanation for how the universe and its laws were made in the incredibly specific ways that they were, you would first have to otherwise prove the likelihood of that God existing. In case it still doesn't make sense, take this Venn diagram. Now, we know that the universe exists and possesses incredibly specific physical constants, so we can get rid of all the space which does not include a universe. At face value, it would appear on the assumption that a finely tuned universe exists, then it would be highly likely that a god exists. But this does not account for all the alternate explanations for a finely tuned universe. Like, maybe there's a multiverse, or maybe there's something inherent about our current laws of reality that means they must be the way they are, or maybe we're just the most efficient way to run a universal code on some kind of cosmic simulation machine. And currently, there's no real way to estimate the probability of any of these explanations of a finely tuned universe, or how they may relate to one another. In order to prove the likelihood of fine tuning by God, you would first have to either discredit every single other hypothesis for the finely tuned universe, or you would need to somehow provide proof of the divine creation hypothesis. The finely tuned universe alone would not act as proof of God. Now, back to what I was doing. Good key.